So we've painted our butterflies and we've added details to the butterflies and now it's time to cut them out. I speeded this up with my time-lapse video on the iPad and then I slowed it down a bit in iMovie so it doesn't go too fast. I'm sure you all know how to cut out with scissors and if you need some help just get someone to help you if you need help. The little antennas on the butterflies are a little bit complicated. Uh, you could add them later. If you cut them off, you can add them later with a pen when they're glued down to the background. Take your time when you're cutting them out. This is the second part of the project. Might take a while. And pretty soon they'll be all cut out and then you'll get your other half of the sheet with the blue and green wash or whatever color you've painted it and then arrange your butterflies to see what they look like and then fold very carefully the background. I used a kitchen utensil because it has a, a little, a, it's good for folding, pressing down the paper to make a nice straight fold. You could use the edge of a brush or a ruler. Um, some people have a, a bone cutter or bone um, bone tool, but that worked just fine. It's like a piece of wood. And be very careful to match the corners as well as you can because then it will stand up better. So you have a concertina ready for gluing down. There, it folds up and looks quite nice. So then I lay it down flat and get ready to, uh, first of all, I arrange them the way I thought they might work nicely. Very careful not to paste a butterfly down on the fold because then the fold won't fold. So just give them lots of room and um, you can paste them right up to the fold but don't fold paste them on the fold so I was just arranging them to see what they look like I thought I had maybe too much but they weren't glued yet then I got my white glue and my little brush and I got ready to glue down That wasn't sticking, so I reached for a piece of paper or a little thing that I had to push down the butterfly, but I realized I needed a clean sheet of white paper so that I didn't get my fingers all covered in paint or glue or whatever. That needed a few more clips because I didn't do a very good job with the little antennae. But as I said, if I had cut it off, I could add it with my pen when it's glued down. So don't worry about your antennae if you're making butterflies. I found a piece of white paper and I started to use it to push down. They need to be pushed down and held down for a bit until the glue takes. Glue sticks would not work with this project. You need white glue. I don't think glue sticks are strong enough to hold watercolor paper down to watercolor paper. But if, if you had made butterflies out of plain paper, like copy paper or um, drawing paper it glue stick might work you can try it 
but I'm using white glue. Pressing down. This took a little bit of time. I speeded up this video as usual to um, make it less long. Um, so take your time when you're gluing. It takes a while. Be patient. And if you get tired, you could, I guess, wait for another day to finish it. But I like to do everything in stages and finish each stage. And this is the cutting and gluing stage. There's a stage three, there's a part three. Once we get it all glued down, we might wait until another day when we will add details to our folding concertina. In the meantime, just getting it glued down is a, takes time. There, I added a few flowers. I'm going to have to give them stems in the next video and some leaves and things that make the green area look like a meadow of flowers. So we're going to do that in part three. This is part two. So we've come to the end of part two and we're going to move on to part three. And now it's time to put the finishing touches on our butterfly concertina. So I took a white acrylic marker and a Posca pen that was black. Now you could use black markers or you could use uh, I don't think you have white markers, but you could use different colored markers for this. And um, so I was using a Posca pen, which is an acrylic marker and a white acrylic marker. And I was putting stems to the fluff for the flowers and leaves. I was just inventing my leaves and my flowers. It took a while, but this is a really nice part. Sometimes you can put on some nice quiet music and just follow your heart. Add leaves and stems to any flowers you might have put down. You could draw some new flowers. You could use markers or crayons to, you, to draw some new flowers. This would be a nice present for somebody that you are really fond of. Maybe a grandparent or um, a mom or a dad or an uncle or somebody that's special to you, a friend who might like it, or you could keep it and just enjoy it. 
and make some more. Be sure and put your name on it when you're finished. I forgot to put my name on it when I was finished this, but I will put my name on it later. My marker started to feel a bit dry, so I had to um, sort of push it down a couple of times to get the ink flowing through again. I think this is my favorite part when most of the work is done and I'm just thinking about adding a few little drawings of flowers and leaves and stems just for fun. I keep inventing little flowers that probably don't actually exist. That's with art, you can design things and look around in nature and see shapes that you like and then turn them into your own flowers. Getting close to being finished. the black part. Now I'm using black. You could use crayons and just draw flowers or um, use colored pencils. That They would work too. Colored pencils are fun to, to draw with. You could put green stems and green leaves and you can make the flowers red or maybe yellow and maybe white would show up against the background. A white pencil crayon. Yeah, white pencil crayon would work. There's all kinds of things you can do when you make a concertina. I was thinking about making a concertina about a summer holiday that I had when I was uh, a teenager. I used to ride a horse and I was thinking about finding an old photograph and then remembering the past, the meadow that we used to ride through and the mountain that we used to ride up. Or you could put pictures of your family, a, a family concertina of family, family members. You could put photographs or you could draw your own people. Or you could make a story concertina. Or you could make a concertina about your bedroom, about your favorite things. You could make one about food. A vegetable garden, you could put big carrots and onions, um, tomatoes, uh, zucchini, green beans. You could do a fruit, a fruit or a, 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 a concertina of fruit. You could put apples on one and peaches and pears and oranges. Or your favorite fruit, bananas. So this is a butterfly concertina. And then I took my white marker and dotted against the blue. I was trying to make it look like the butterflies were flying around and they were leave, leaving little trails of, of airflow behind them. I know, I was just using my imagination. It's probably not what really happens with the air, but the air does move when things move through it. And the white dots look kind of nice on the blue. They don't show up so much on the green, but that's okay. We're almost finished and it's starting to look pretty nice. Yep. I hope you have as much fun with your concertina as I had with this one. I made one with some a forest and some animals, a moose and a bear and a squirrel 
and um, a toy, a tohi bird, and I'm working on a raccoon for it. I might do another video with the animals. And you could make an animal concertina too. I had to put white dots in the middle of the flowers. I think I was pretty much finished. Look at that. There we are, my concertina. It has to dry, so I won't fold it right up. Let it dry, and then I'll put it up on my piano. Thank you, Menemev, for making all of this possible. I had so much fun making these videos for you. Bye.